Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what we're trying to do, okay? And I don't know if you can see, let me just see what that looks like. So this is here, okay. Yeah, so the spinal column, okay? Obviously we have a vertebral body and I wanna show you kind of what we're doing. So here's a vertebral body, okay? And this is what we call the axial view. So the disc space is right here. We have two structures that we call the pedicle, okay? So these are post, and then up here is the lamina. Okay, and here in the center is the spinal canal. Okay, so I'm gonna shade this in. Okay, so that's the spinal canal. So this is where all the nerves are, this is your spinal cord. So when we put in screws, we wanna get, get fixation, especially if we're doing scoliosis corrections. We need to grab this vertebral body. So the idea is, is that we're gonna put a screw like this, right in this narrow piece of bone called the pedicle. Okay, and then we're, the screw has a little bit of a fastener, a slot. Okay, and this head can move. So it's a polyaxial screw. So the head can move on the screw and then we're gonna place a rod right there. So placing this screw through this narrow piece of bone is, you know, it can be somewhat challenging, I would say, because you don't wanna miss. If you miss laterally, it's okay. But if you miss medially, you could injure the nerve root or the spinal cord itself, and that's never good. Oh, perfect. I didn't know they had this. This makes it so much easier. So I'm gonna bring it over here so I can see the screen. Can you guys focus here or not really? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's okay, I'm, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Mate, can you just pull that screen back? Okay. So here's the spine, and remember I said in the front of the spine, what you saw in the cervical spine, there's really very little muscle. In the back of the spine, where you see all these ridges and all these bumps, these bumps and these ridges are here for the attachment of the muscle, okay? And so this is where all the musculature is. It's in the back of the spine, the posterior part of the spine. So I don't know if you see these little holes, okay? This hole is exactly where we're gonna put the screw and the screw is gonna go down right in this pedicle. So the screw, you won't see it, but we're trying to go right into this bone, right into the body, all right? And so here is the spinal canal. This is where the nerve roots are. And so this is our window, okay? We're, trying, we're gonna put two screws here and here. And if you look at the side, through this little column of bone, okay? And we're gonna do this with image guidance. Typically, the way we did it was we would open up the spine, we would dissect all the muscles, and then we would look at the junction of this transverse process, okay, as it meets what we call the facet joint, and that would also be the landmark of where we would put the screw in into the vertebral body. But we'd have to really dissect the whole musculature off. So we're gonna do this with image aided guidance, and this is a fluoroscopy unit, and it basically just takes x-ray, shot. Okay. Can you switch on here? And you know? I will not be able to show that unless I put this on here, correct? Okay, so how am I gonna do that? We're still missing the x-ray images here, so if you can put them on camera. Okay, you can't really, is the x-ray visible? No, no. Huh? not yet, that's what I'm saying. Okay. How can they see the x-ray? Now we see x-ray. Okay, there it is. Okay, great. So I'm gonna show you, let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Hopefully this is a good shot. Okay, good. Shot. Okay, do you see right lateral of my pin here, you can see that circular target, okay? That circular target on the fluoroscope, on the x-ray image is the pedicle. So that's exactly what we wanna cannulate, all right? So when we look at it, let me see that pin. Mm -hmm. Our view is like this, a little bit of a square. We're gonna see two circles, okay? And this is almost like a video game. Okay, here's the spinous process. And this is our target point, okay? We really wanna go in there, and that's gonna lead us to the canal, okay? And instead of 
basically doing this under you know, an open system, we're gonna do it percutaneously, so we don't really have to dissect the spine. So there's the mark, I'm gonna go a little bit lateral. Okay. So it's here is the, there you can see is the needle that we use, it's cannulated. So I can take that stylet out and then I'm gonna advance a guide wire. And so you're gonna see me go in just like this or just like that, okay. All right, shot. Okay, it's too medial. Okay, shot. Okay, shot. Okay, one more image. Okay, I kind of like it right there, because this is gonna go from medial to lateral. Shot. 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 Good. Shot. And it, it looks like I'm gonna go into the canal, but on the depth wise, you know, it's, it's past the canal, I hope. Shot. Okay, so we drive it here. All right, and I don't know if you can see this system, but we basically take that stylet out. Okay, so I took the stylet out. Okay, and then we're gonna put a guide wire. Here's the guide wire, okay. And then we'll take this cannula out. Great. And, hmm, oh, this is our tap. So a lot of times we like to prepare the channel that we have, and this is called a tap. This isn't the screw itself, but what it does is, is it, it kind of engages the bone and makes our threads for us. Okay, shot there. Ah, you don't even have to do that. It's all right. Hold on one second. Okay, go ahead, shot. Okay, so that is gonna cannulate down. We're gonna um, tap our screw. Wow, she's really osteoporotic. Oh, this goes down, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, once we've successfully wrapped all the soft tissue in a nice guided way. I see how that's a very nice instrument. Yeah. How are we doing? Almost, huh? Yeah, almost. Okay, great. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so here is the screw itself. All right. And that's called the pedicle screw, and we're going to be inserting that into the vertebral body past the neural canal. Okay, over a guide wire, all right? And this is called percutaneous fixation. You see that we didn't make big incisions. Um, we're basically doing this with image guidance. Hmm, I lost my guide wire. Shot? Okay, great. Oh, I see it. Okay. Okay. Shot. Great. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Great. Great. So basically, I'm just driving over the guide wire. 
Shot. Good. Mm -hmm. And you want to be collinear with that guy wire. So when you see the guy wire bend, it kind of means that you're not collinear with the guy wire itself. Okay. Shot. Beautiful. Now, at some point, you want to remove this guide wire. So even though we're working in one plane, you kind of have to be cognizant of the other plane. You don't want to penetrate the vertebral body, because in front, there's vessels. Shot. Good. Mm -hmm. And there's always these kind of sleeves. Oh, this is really nice. There's sleeves to really help you cannulate. So at the end, we, want to, we need to fashion a rod onto this screw, okay? So these towers provide a guide of where to put the rod in. And so we'll do one more, just like, yeah, let me see the rod. So obviously, the rods come in different lengths, okay? It really depends on how many screws we put in. I think today we'll put mm, maybe two or three, okay? And then we want to do this on both sides, on the left and the right side. I like that image up there. See if you can select, let um, me see, hold on one second. You probably are going to be better off. Actually, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Maybe you can just V. Give me the wigwag. OK, that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Give me the wigwag. It's going to be slight. Right there. It's good. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I don't really like it. Let me see Ferguson a little bit. Yeah, OK, you know what? Give me the wigwag one more time. Try to make it easy. Shot. OK. Wigwag. Shot. OK, right there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. OK, so it's the same thing. We're going to target this little circle. OK, and you see the circle above. Shot. Beautiful. Knife. Mm hmm. Okay, shot. And same thing, I'm gonna go right into that, the center of that circle. Well, I wanna end up there, mallet. Shot. And the only trick is you have to be a little bit aware of where you're going, because it's not. Shot. Beautiful. Shot. Shot. Hmm. Let me do that one more time. Shot. Okay, mallet. Shot. 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 Okay, I'll take that one instead. Okay, so same thing, guide wire down. Okay. Push the sleeve over the soft tissue first. Great. This is a little bit of a dilator because the last time I did this, I didn't do a good job at it. So, okay, it's just going to protect the soft tissue a little bit. Shot. Okay, so same thing. Here's a screw. And I don't know if you see, but you see this channel? That channel is where we're going to put a rod. And I'll show you a free screw in a second. Shot. 
shot? Is it here? Mm -hmm. Shot. Got where it comes out. Shot. Good. Okay. Excellent. Now, this obviously, we could do many levels. We could do this at one, two, three, four, five, and you can kind of see how many levels that we could attack. I'll do one level, and this is the construct that we're trying to make. Ooh, let's see. There you go. Rod, two screws, and then if you see those two rods, how this becomes very rigid. So let's look at the other side. So do you see how the segment above and the segment below move? But this is the segment that has the screws. And this is rigidly fixed, right? This segment in the middle is now moving. And that is basically a spine fusion, okay? And the idea is, is that how do we make this construct? It's a little bit of building a ship in the bottle without disrupting all the tissues, but just putting this in place without making the incision. And that's why we do it this way. Now, the final step is we have to get this rod underneath and we have to put the cap screws. And that also can be somewhat challenging. Every system has a different way of doing it. We are gonna do it the manual way. Okay, so back to the towers. I hope you can see this, these towers, okay? First thing you wanna do is you wanna get length. This rod is actually absolutely too long, okay? But we'll use it for demonstration. And um, we don't have the holder, so we'll make one up. Okay, but typically the way it's done is you have a holder like this. Okay, and then we're going to tunnel the rod. Okay, so if you watch, we're going to put the rod in. Okay, and then we're going to tunnel it all the way across, deep in the soft tissue, okay, to the other level. Okay, so we haven't made an incision specifically for the rod. And this is kind of long, so we're going to have to bring it in and out. Good. Perfect. Now, this is going to be a long rod. Can I see a cap screw? Oh, no cap screws. Oh, OK. Well, we, the next step is we would put these cap screws on, OK? And we're able to do them right through these tabs, all right? And then we would fashion the rod into place. Hopefully, the rod is deep enough. The, the cap screw would actually help us drive the rod down into the base of the screw. We'll take a lateral right now and just show you the construct. Now, this is what you see on the top. We can take these slits. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's kind of what we call pedicle screw fixation, all right? And at the end, what we would do is, is that once we would lock the screws into place, you s close them together? How do you take these things off? Uh, they just break off. Oh. oh, okay, so these tabs would then break off, and then all you'd be left with is these two little poke holes, okay, which you would have to stitch up. Okay, and we don't leave these things in, all right? 